Welcome back to the Better Arizona Show. I'm Sarah Carlstrom. Unfortunately, breakfast on the go is a reality for most of us, and that usually includes a bowl of cereal. But do you know what to look for when it comes to buying your cereal? I know that I absolutely do not, and that's why I'm going to Tammy Baker here from the Daring Council of Arizona. And Tammy, it, it's you can kind of tell which cereals are probably bad, but you never really know, and we're in a hurry. We just grab what we think the kids will eat. You know, there's always surprises, whether it's a kid's cereal or adult cereal. Oftentimes, it can have more than 25% of the calories from sugar. Oh, geez, and that's no good, right? No, what you really want to look for when you're looking for a cereal is at least three grams of fiber in the cereal and less than 25% of the calories coming from sugar. And that's why some of these cereals may surprise you a little bit. Although they may have a lot of fiber, they may have a lot of sugar, or they may not have as much sugar, but no fiber. So we're gonna look at the best best bang for your buck. Okay, so walk us through, let's start at the end right here with this fiber one. Now I would say definitely that would be a good one. Fiber one is an excellent source of fiber. However, it has 12 grams of sugar in it and more than a quarter of the calories are coming from sugar. This one is very high in sugar, has a little fiber, but again, you wanna to try to keep that sugar under 25% and that's not the case on this one. Um, when you move down to the next one, almost the same, like 10 grams of sugar in this Makes one. Makes surprise, yeah. Reese's Puffs, I know. Wouldn't that be great if it was just full of everything we needed for the and day? And there is some fiber, but they don't really you know, have as much fiber as many of the cereals for the amount of sugar in it, more than 25% sugar. This particular one, Chocolatey Delight, again, more than 25% of the calories in the form of sugar. So if you have a little bit of fiber, but you have a lot of sugar in this one, and so many of the Special K products are great, this particular one is very high in sugar. This one, not quite as bad as some of the others, even though you might think it would be. About nine grams of sugar per serving, and all of these portions are one serving, as um, listed on the package. When you go over to this side, you've got some cereals, like Raisin Bran, that do have a little more sugar. However, they have 23 grams of whole grain, and the sugar in this is coming from the dried fruit, primarily. So. It's an excellent choice because it's so high in fiber, whole grains, and again, any sugar in this one, most of the sugar is from dried fruit. Okay. Mini wheats. You see a little sugar on the top of this one, but it again is high in fiber. Less than 25% of the calories are from sugar. And with all these cereals, if you have one that's high in sugar, mix it with something lower in sugar. And that keeps the total calories down, but you get the taste of all the cereals. We go um, to this Goline cereal. This actually is very low in, um, Lower in sugar and 10 grams of fiber, less than 25% of the calories from sugar. We get over to Life Cereal, an old favorite, and this particular one, again, not as much sugar, less than 25% sugar, but yet a great source of fiber. And then last but good not least, Cheerios. good old Cheerios, a great source of fiber and less than three grams of sugar. In other words, very, very low in sugar, high in fiber, and an excellent choice. And again, when you're saying um, to look at the how exactly, what are we looking for exactly on the label? What, what do we want to see? You want to look at the amount of sugar, how many grams of okay. sugar are in it, and, um, and then see if it's a quarter of the calories. And then also you want to look at the amount of fiber and you want three grams of fiber or more. Okay, all right, well, at least this is a good start for most of us. We can kind of tell what's, uh, what cereals to stay away from and what we should uh, be leaning towards. And again, if you want more information on anything we talked about today or any recipes that the Dairy Council has, you can go to their website at the Dairy Council of AZ. Dot org. And the Better Arizona Show will be right back.